all around the stomach are these like white, hard, fatty stuff, totally filling the gut cavity. What's up guys, today's the 22nd of November and uh, it's just before the weekend. A couple of my friends are going out and the wind's supposed to be dead calm. So usually I, I would avoid these days just cause there'll be a ton of people out on the water. Um, but since my friends are going, I just want to go and hang out. Uh, the fishing's probably gonna be pretty hard um, just because of the full moon. The bait will be easy to catch, I imagine. Able to see it, but that's a little goggle eye. That's a perfect bait, perfect size. And the bite time started started at six. It's I think six thirty now. Sun's not up, but I'm gonna get this bait out there and see if we can't find something. I got a bunch on this time. I think I've got five on. I'm over this massive school right now. Not five, but three bigger ones. brought in that little Akuli and I'm gonna head out deeper. I've got three Opilu and three Akuli. Um, I gave one of the Opilu, the really giant one, to another guy. Um, so I'm just gonna head out and start fishing. Um, you know, chances are it's not gonna be great for fishing, but we're out here giving it a try. And I think the action is gonna be on light line and probably near the bottom. So we'll go with that. No, all the way at the bottom. No, 20 to 60. Okay. Oh, yeah. My Domashi is super tangled up. gonna put it away for now just adding a stinger hook to the rig I caught one that was like nine and the other two are like 12 so I don't even want to put them in my bait tube because they're so freaking big yeah I just came over a spot and it had a pretty big marks right up by the surface. My bait was right in the middle of it. it didn't get bit. Checking on my bait, something took a like a swipe at it, but still looks fine. So we'll just get him back out there. Right now I'm on 
attempting to untangle my Damashi. When I dropped into that last school, I uh, let it sit there for a second too longer and the, the bait just ran around each other and wrapped it all up. I think it's salvageable. Something to do while I'm just drifting along here. I've got two baits out, one down, probably like 100 feet down, and the other one is just free-lined out there on the surface, or flat-lined. Six and a half hours later. Uh, small miracle, I got that untangled. It probably took me like 10 minutes. I don't need bait, but it's nice to save the Damashi because it takes a, like 20 minutes to tie one of these. I think it's time for a new bait. This one still looks really good. Hasn't got hit, so I might as well stick on a new one. All right, now that I'm off the phone, I hooked up in like 150. not very big I can see something way down there a foul hooked cob and cava Little kava kava, didn't get skunked anyway. Foul hooked him right in the side. Caught a kava kava, if anybody wants that. How big is it? I don't know, it's like seven pounds. I don't want to be greedy, but I, I really want to start like practicing cutting stuff up, so. No, let him go, let him go. Yeah. Time for a new bait. Looking kind of, kind of sad, but that's what happens when they're in the tube for quite a while. But I'm in 157, and I'll probably kind of troll around here. I had a lot of line out, probably 250 feet when that last kava kava hit. It's really nervous. I'm in 100 feet right now. There's marks down at 40 feet. They're the first marks I've seen in a while. I was considering going back out to like the 150 ledge where I caught that kava, but I'll hang out here for a little bit. Hooked up in 90 feet of water. Whatever this is, it's pretty small. I forgot what that is. Kind of looks like an uku from here. Actually, that's a pretty good size uku. <laughs> wow. I don't think it's coming off anytime soon. So I'm gonna at least put my food away. Yeah, 
man, that's such a beautiful fish. Got him with the stinger hook, crazy blues, green, it's called a blue-green snapper. That's a uku in Hawaiian, uh, but that's a job fish. I got probably a eight pound uku in uh, 100 feet. If you don't want that, I'll take that. <clears throat> Uh, sorry man, someone's already got dibs on that one. Mm. There we go, Mr. Uku. Nice to catch that. A lot better than a kava kava. <laughs> and I got these two jumbo opella that I caught earlier. I'm in 100 feet right now and I've got two more baits. I've got one more opillo and one more akuli. But right out in front of me there's this great big pile of floating crap. So I think I might try and fish around here. Most likely I'll just catch bait right in there. up in 80 feet. Chase it down. It didn't really feel like an aha, uh -huh, so that's success. Kind of fighting like a rainbow runner. I did not want to get into this spot with these waves. It's up on the surface. And it's doing circles. Yeah, rainbow runner, called it. I'm not gonna coggy him. I just don't want to risk hitting the fish wrong or right in the gill plate and then it falls off or something. 
Nice. Rainbow Runner. Oh, he just looked a little better than I thought he was. the same with swell anyway but um, obviously headed in now that's when I hooked into that rainbow runner pretty shallow on the last bait the Akuli taking Charlie for a little hike um, but fishing this morning I thought I'd share with you guys what I think made the big difference between me and other guys on the water there were uh, 10 other kayak anglers out on the water within like one mile of where I was at um, but as far as I know no one else caught anything um, and I think the main reason for that was they're all using a uh, line that's just too heavy um, Based on the conditions, I decided to drop down to 20 pound mono uh, just to give it a shot because full moon fishing uh, generally is not very good, so any bit uh, can help you out. Um, I was also using stinger hooks. Uh, the Uku and the Rainbow Runner both came on the stinger hooks, otherwise, I would have missed both of those fish. I was gutting that Uku, and all around the stomach are these like white, hard, fatty feeling. Uh, stuff. It was like totally filling the, the like the gut cavity. I'm not sure what they are. I'm gonna look it up, but it doesn't give me a great feeling for eating the fish. Fish looks totally normal aside from that. Here you go, buddy. Ready? 